lots of reporting for Sunspots from Huntington Library. Today we had a congressional art competition and our love student Natasha Manzaeva won an honorable mention, so let's check the highlights. Our final honorable mention award winner resides in the city of San Marino. This young lady came to the United States as an exchange student from Russia whose experiences in a foreign country have greatly impacted her artwork. During her time here, she noticed glaring differences between the United States and Russia. In particular, how her classmates are always smiling, something that doesn't happen very often amongst strangers in her own home country. Another major difference she witnessed was the vast diversity of Americans. This became particularly apparent when the artists participated in the Women's March and saw firsthand people of different races, genders, colors, and religions walking alongside one another in solidarity. The entire piece has a dreamscape look, reminding us that even though this is a beautiful scene, there is more work to be done to achieve the ultimate dream of harmony. From Southwestern Academy, her piece titled, Me Too, let's bring up Natasha Mazarba. I'm very honored to be here tonight and um, I want to thank everybody for being here and uh, I want to thank my school and my art school teacher Mr. Kohn for giving me the opportunity to explore the art and uh, I'm very honored to be uh, in the United States to today and um, like since three years ago I came here and I'm very honored to have the opportunity to meet so many people and uh, uh, like understand the, the um, yeah, importance of bringing the um, principles of equality between people and gender and race to the world and be the part of people who uh, spread this the importance of this issue today and nowadays. Sunspots. Earlier in history class, we learned about Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus was a brave man who traveled halfway around the world. He was a brave man who explored seas and land, but he almost died on one of his expeditions. On one of his expeditions, he got into a war when he had to jump out of his ship, barely making it to shore. Christopher Columbus got a ship and he called it, the, it was called the Mayflower. Christopher Columbus is one of my inspirations and one of my heroes. I hope you enjoyed my video. Hi, this is Nikki reporting for Sunspots. Last week we had our annual Lua. There were pal throwing, balloon throwing, and of course all of dancing. Let's check out the highlights. Slowly taking in my body
Casey reporting for Sunspot. On Monday, students had softball game with teachers. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Max Franco came back to campus to visit. Let's go to the interview. Fight on, Max Franco. <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Max Franco and I'm from the Ukraine. I graduated last year, which is 2017, a long time ago. Oh, I go to University of Southern California here in LA. It's very close. Feels like home. My first year went well. Um, there was a lot of studying. I met a lot of new people. Um, USC offers a lot of clubs and extracurricular activities um, to take part in. So I, it's been really fun and yeah, I'm excited for the second year. Southwestern is a great place because, uh, well, I got here when I was 15 and uh, I had to learn how to be more independent. I had to learn how to do laundry, um, how to get along with a roommate. Um, so that's that's a very, that's an advantage that some people don't get when they get to college. Um, time management is the second thing that I think helped me out a lot that I learned here in college. Be curious. Um, if you if you find something that that interests you, go d dig deeper in that and explore. Um, that's gonna help you find your way in college a little more. I personally didn't decide on my major until I actually got in college. Well, I had a major, but I changed it once I got in. Um, after I took a few classes, and you realize that there are a lot of interesting things in this world. So explore as much as you can read a lot that's that's gonna help 